Should we start with the West? Now, there's three certainties, isn't there? Let's all name let's all name a certainty. I'll start. Steph Curry is a certainty. LeBron James for me. And Jokic. Yeah, okay. So we've all got those. They're, they're three certainties. That's fair. That leaves a one player in the front court and one player in the back court. Lee, let's start with the back court. Lee, who have you got next to Steph? I, I have probably one of my favorite players, Devin Booker, starting at the starting shooting guard position. Devin Booker. Haywood? I have, uh, yeah, a second point guard. I've got Chris Paul. The two, yeah, yeah right. So <laughs> we have gone with three different options. I've gone with Donovan Mitchell. I just think, so basically I mm. was out of Mitchell or Booker and I decided because Booker was out those six or seven games of the hamstring, uh, the Suns are what, two two game better team, but I mean, that's much for muchness there. So for me, they're basically, I think they're both averaging like 25.4 points per game or something. Very, very similar numbers. Uh, and for that reason, I think both teams deserve to have a player on the uh, the All Star team, and to be to be totally honest, if I had to, if I could pick three guards, then I would probably pick Mitchell and Booker, but it won't let me do that. So I've only got to pick two guards. So Donovan Mitchell is the one for me. How? Why? What was your decision, Haywood, in going CP three over Booker? Um, I just gut to be honest. Whenever whenever I whenever I watch a, a Suns game, I just I like the way CP3 goes about it. And also, yeah, a bit a bit that Booker's been missing a bit of basketball. I don't know. Could 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 have Booker in there just as easily. Yeah. So you say you basically think that that say uh, he's having CP3 is having more impact on games for the Suns than Booker is, which is a fair argument. I mean, we go back to last season when the Suns were trash and CP3 comes along and they go to the NBA finals. So three different players there. Lee, I'll start with you. Your other front core position next to LeBron and Jokic. A guy I actually had as a dark horse MVP candidate for this year, Paul George, playoff P, way off P, whatever you want to call him this season, having a fantastic season. Very little help. Uh, Ty Lue's showed he's one of the best coaches in the NBA, but uh, Paul George is who I have in the front court. He won't be able to play the All Star game. Well, uh, he might be back, but he's missing a month at least, isn't he? So he's out a month. Yes. So to me, that that I looked at him and was like, yes. If I put a still, line if through he, him all yeah, together. If he was still playing, I'm I'm putting a line through him as a starter, just because he won't be playing the next month. Haywood. Um, I put uh, your man Draymond Green. Really? Yeah. yeah I was not expecting that. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I actually like it. Do you know, do you know, I'm not going to lie, because I was kind of looking at it and I was like, all right, LeBron can be my power forward. Jokic can be my center. And I was looking at small forwards. And PG is clearly the obvious yeah. one. There's there's no doubt that PG, fit and healthy, if he didn't get injured, he's definitely it. So there is a bit of a, a preface on that. But outside of that, there are not many. If you had to pick like another, like a small forward, there are not it's, many. There's slim pickings. There were three choices. It was PG, Draymond, and AD. And well, no, I, AD's I, not. I, no, please don't pick AD. Don't even mention his name. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really? I, <laughs> really? Do you know who is a genuine? Bad. So no, I, do you know who I wanted to pick? Do you know who I actually was thinking about picking? And I'm sorry, but you're going to say it, Wiggins. You're yeah. Say, yeah. yeah. No. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry. No, I have to do it. No. I have to do it. No, he's, got, he's got a team with the best record in the league. Now, yes, okay, Draymond probably deserves it. But if, like, I'm not necessarily, I wouldn't have LeBron. If I was making an actual team, now I know this all-star team is completely different, but if I was actually picking a team, I'm not having Draymond next to LeBron. I'd actually have, I'd probably have Wiggins if I was to pick another another Warrior player. But at the end of the day, this is all-star. This is not actually a team going out there to, you know, play in the NBA Finals or anything. Um, the other player I was thinking of... I don't. I was thinking about him, then I was like, no, I, I'm not going to pick him. That's actually Aiton because I want to have a Suns player in there, to be totally honest. But then, like, two centers next to each other. I mean, it's the All Star. You can do anything. Uh, but look, the more I think about it, the more I actually like your selection of Draymond, to be honest, because there's just no one else. There is like this. Ooh, there's actually slim pickings. 
It's cool. Kawhi Leonard's obviously not here. Clay Thompson's obviously out. But then the then it gets to like the Mikel, the West. Who are the West Wings? Mikel Bridges and stuff. Who aren't Wiggins. really all star. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I don't want Wiggins the all star game anyway. Uh, Do you think? So I actually think Andrew Wiggins will be an all star reserve. Well, with the oh, way people are in and out of the thing, there'll be that many reserves in and out. And I reckon. Oh well, that, that's cab, true. Yeah. He, he might be first cab off the wings. Well, yeah, that's we're talking wings. Yeah, are there are any we, other? Are we yes, going to throw out some reserves? Yeah, go on. You've got some names well, there. I don't really, but yeah, I mean, well, on. I've got, I've got, because um, I didn't pick Donny, so I've got Donny, and then I've got yeah. Luca, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, yes. Um, would you John have? Morant. Can I qu- hold up on that? Would you have Anthony Edwards over Cat? Cat's had a uh, good season. Yeah, I well, Cat. I was about to say Cat, obviously, but um, Are the Timber was good enough to have two, maybe. Mm. Yeah, it's all star, not all teams, I love, but... nah, Aunt Edwards. I love Aunt Edwards. Mm. And then I, I might have Cat over him still. I don't know. Oh, Gobert's going to be going to be. He's going to be in there. But he's going to be in yeah. there. He's the most. He's the least all starry all star of all time. He's the kind of guy <laughs> you're in there and you hope he doesn't get on the court whatsoever in the all star game. <laughs> I mean, he might catch a few lobs. That's cool. And He'll be the Actually, longest odds to win the all star MVP. <laughs> that is very true. You know what he should do. Just to take the absolute piss, Rudy Gobert should just be a three-point shooter. Come the All-Star oh, game. I don't, I don't just, want to see that. <laughs> I, I want to see that. It's the only interest I have in seeing Rudy Gobert on the floor is if he just sits I'd in I'd like to see him defend threes. the perimeter. <laughs> wait, till, <laughs> wait till playoffs for that, mate. Uh, <laughs> uh,